sequence one, go to Agile and review the change. We are here in Oracle Agile PLM and we have an assembly, a gearbox assembly, uh, which has a pending change. It has three revisions already. Current revision, which is released, is revision C. And we have a pending change, ECO 11, which tells me, OK, I need to add a fixing bolt, remove one cover plate, and update the drawing. So let's go to the affected items. We will assign a new revision, which is D. And we will review the data directly here in PLM. Oracle Agile PLM allows us, with the help of an integrated 3D viewer, to review the 3D geometry without the help of any CAD system. We just click on the file, on the native CATIA CAD product, and the viewer opens and allows me to review this geometry. There are analysis functionalities like explosion, or sectioning available. As well as measuring of data where we can see what is the radius of this object. Now let's perform the change. In order to perform the change, I need to load the assembly into CAD. Sequence 2. Load the assembly into CAD. To load the assembly into CAD, I go to the drawing in PLM and I have a command which is called load to cut. The load to cut command will now fetch all related data into my CATIA. The XPLM integration shows us the load preview which gives us a structured view on my assembly data. On the top, I have the drawing with the attached part number, with the current change number. The drawing is pointing to the assembly, and the assembly itself is pointing to all the components. We see we have altogether eight objects in our load preview. And these eight objects are listed here again for convenience. We can choose load options like latest and worked, latest checked in, latest released or as saved. We will now execute the load into cut command. Our CATIA has now opened the CAD drawing. Within CATIA, the XPLM integration is represented by this pull-down menu and the buttons here on the right side in CATIA. It offers me several commands like create new from PLM, open from PLM, show the workspace manager, the preferences, information about the version, 
several save commands or to jump back into the PLM, update the properties and synchronize them with PLM, make a reservation and cancel the reservation <coughs> and update the title box. Right now let's review the Workspace Manager. The Workspace Manager gives us a view on all the files which are locally available. The Workspace Manager tells me that we have a lot of files here in our local working directory. All those files are in synchronization with PLM. These files have been downloaded when I press the load to cut command from PDM. The Workspace Manager gives us also a lot of information about the metadata of the objects in PLM. For example, which is the item assigned to this file, which is the current revision of all those items and which is the affected change. Sequence 3. Execute the change. We will now execute the change on our CATIA assembly. I will open the CATIA assembly. So the change asks us to remove one of those cover plates. So I will remove this cover plate and to insert a bolt. which is this bolt. The bolt has been inserted here. I save this to the local disk, go to my drawing and update my drawing. We see that here the drawing has been modified and the new component is well represented on the drawing. Sequence 4. Save the updated data into PLM. We will now save all the updated data into our PLM. With this command, Agile gives me the save preview, which allows me to save the modified data back to PLM. We can see that all the components have not been modified, but the assembly and the drawing. The assembly has been modified because we removed one cover plate and we added the bolt to the assembly. The drawing has been modified to represent the new geometry. The integration discovers this modification and proposes us for the modified objects to perform a check-in. The other objects will not be modified by this save process. We will now also update the drawing title box. We navigate to the design which holds the cut drawing in our PLM. We have a PDF file generated from PLM and we have here the native drawing file and we will now modify the description of the drawing. We have modified the text here 
and we will now see how this propagates to the drawing title block. The drawing title block will now be updated by executing this command. This command fetches all the metadata from PLM and puts them into the drawing title block. We see that the description has been updated and also the revision index has been updated to the good revision index which is in synchronization with the PLM data. We will save now these data back to PLM in order to be reflected on our change. Sequence 5 Review the modified data in AutoView and release the change. Let's go back to our change. The change is the change 11. The proposed revision index is D. The affected items is the gearbox assembly. We can see in the ECO with the red lightning capability that the bill of material of the gearbox has been changed. We have added one new part, which is the bolt in the revision A with a quantity of one. And we removed one cover plate and the quantity has been updated from two to one. Let's review the geometry which has been modified. I go to the part, to the newest revision. We can see that indeed now we have the newest versions of our native files attached to the part. When I go to the assembly, I can see already from the thumbnail that the cover plate has been indeed removed and out of view allows us to compare the native files in the different versions. Let's compare this with one of the older versions. AutoView fetches both of the geometries in the viewer, represents me with a comparison view and I can see that indeed the cover plate which is marked red has been removed from the assembly. In the same way we have here a new part which has been added it is the bolt. In the same way we can review the changes in the drawing. For this it is possible to review directly the PDF file and we will compare it to the old version. Again, AutoView indicates me the changes and we can see here that the description has been changed, that the revision has been changed. AutoView allows us either to view the native file or the PDF file which is generated by the XPLM CAD integration. We see now that the change has done has been done and we can release the change.
until the status released. With this, our part has now a new released revision index which is completely in synchronization with our change.